This is a basketball hoop. We're putting it on this crane, 45 feet in the air, and trying to dunk it. If we make it, it's officially going to be the highest dunk in history. To prepare, we're going to go through three prep stages to test our skill, precision, and ball handling. First, we'll put our skill to the test. We're going to try tricks that professional NBA dunkers do at contest. Since that's not an easy task and none of us can properly dunk, we're going to need some help from our trampoline. Boys, bring it in. Up, 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 it's easy up. for Max. He has such a reach, he doesn't even need to jump. See? But he still didn't touch the rim. I, I touched it, I swear I touched it. We're going to see in slow motion footage how I actually almost left right. elbow in... Uh, yeah. <laughs> we chose five of the hardest tricks and one that's impossible to do without a trampoline. I'm more of a ground guy, so I will pass it from here. Who's not a stunt man? Ah! Where's my applause now? You have to earn your applause. Who's the true Jabron Lame? Ah! Our skill test was successful and now it's time to put this knowledge to work 40 feet higher. Time to go to step two, precision. It looks like it's gonna be a tight fit. But tight fit? Luckily I'm super slim. It was all going really well and we were about to jump until something really bad happened. The wind picked up. The wind, the fucking wind. We're gonna try to jump from the roof into this manhole. You can see it right here. As you see now, it's just floating around. Second issue with the wind, this airbag got moved for like 10 feet. So we're a team of basically acrobatic engineers and we kind of have to solve it. We expect to deliver. I'm comfortable with jumping from these heights. The thing is the shape is moving so much. I'm really gonna have to have a good time. Precise enough for me. All right, let's move on. I'm still scared of heights. Each time I figure that out. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. I'm gonna nail it. I'm gonna squeeze my ass to nail it. So this is the goal. Yeah. All right. Despite all the challenges with the wind, we passed the precision test with flying colors. Oh yeah, and now let's go to the final preparation test, ball fondling. You mean ball handling? Handling, yes. We're playing a beer pong with a little twist. We're jumping off a 45 foot roof and aiming for the cups. The cups are numbered and each number represents One, a dunk trick that you have to do four, if you hit the cup. Epsilon. Because you know, Gab just loves Greek alphabet. <laughs> that was the best bartender ever. Too. Gravity. <laughs> oh, that was a hit. He hit number epsilon. That's correct. Let's go. Oh. Day four. Yeah. You got number one. Oh my god, Mirj and Max bought gold number one! We all hit the targets. Uh, we have two number ones and a number epsilon for Gap. What does it mean? That means we are doing under the leg dunk and you Gap the impossible dunk. Nah. <laughs> yes, you do. Front You're going for a front flip. <laughs> Off of this baby. I'm supposed to be really good at this, but not on height. Yeah, yeah, I did the dunk first try, that's why I'm stepping up my game and doing the behind the back dunk. <laughs> How are you feeling just before your first jump? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super nervous for the front lift. I mean, it's super sketchy setup. Also height is involved, which I really hate. Big props to Gap. I cannot imagine doing a front flip on this height. No way. Eh? 
just can't get it in my head. I mean, many things can go wrong. Uh, like in, like, overshoot or... Yep. <laughs> We're gonna have some beer after this. Oh yeah. Mission successful. Why is Mosaman? We made the highest dunk in the history of dunking. If anyone doesn't agree with that, there's comment section wide open. You're welcome to see our other videos and uh, welcome to subscribe.